with Broadway shows and the subway, New York City is full of history. From Times Square to the United Nations, the iconic Ed Sullivan Theater, all the way to the historic September 11th Memorial, New York City will have you running more. I'm Zach Stack and I'm going to take you to New York City. First up is Times Square. In 1904, the New York Times, wanting to get out of downtown New York, built their headquarters on 43rd Street by Broadway. The people started to call it Times Square, and the name stuck. It may be full of pickpocketers and vendors, but has street performers trying to make it big in the Big Apple. The United Nations headquarters is in Manhattan, and it's full of history, peace, service, and compassion towards other nations around the world. Established in 1945, it's run by 193 member states. Everything you see is a gift from another member state, including the United States, to symbolize generosity and peace. One of the most important sites in New York City is Ground Zero, the September 11th terrorist attacks memorial. After the buildings fell, thousands of people ran to the scene to help in any way possible. They moved destroyed buildings to search for victims. Today, people can come pay their respects and for some see where their family members' lives were taken. The Ed Sullivan Theater, or Studio 50 in Manhattan, is home to the Stephen Colbert Show. Before Colbert took over, David Letterman took the stage with his late show. The late show with Stephen Colbert has four nominations, but no one's yet, and its ratings are starting to gradually outwin the Jimmy Fallon Show. Thank you for taking this trip with me to New York City to see the most exciting, educational, and cool places in New York. Thank you.